Sue Ann hangs a picture frame of width 15 centimeters on the wall. The distance from the nail to the edge of the picture frame is 10 centimeters. Find the length of the wire used to hang the picture frame. So they give us that this width of this picture frame is 15 centimeters. So let's label our picture. So I have 15 centimeters is this piece. And I know that this piece of wire here and this piece of wire here, they need to be the same length. Otherwise, my picture is going to be all sorts of crooked. So I know that those will be equal. If those two sides are equal, then I have an isosceles triangle because these have to be the same. So what if we were to drop a bisector there and I'm going to make two triangles. So I would have a right triangle here and I would have a right triangle here. So let's pull out one of these triangles. So let's say we pull out this one right here. We're going to pull that out and we're going to label it. So here's my right triangle. So I still don't know what this side is. This is what I'm trying to find. So let's label that X. And I do know that my triangle is 10 centimeters high. And I know that this piece right here, let me use my little laser. All right, so this piece right here is half of the whole width of the picture frame. So this has to be 7.5 centimeters. So that looks like a plain old Pythagorean theorem formula. So let's put, get my a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And let's plug in what I know. So I know that my two legs are 10 and 7.5. And how do I know that those are my legs? I know those are my legs because this right here is my right angle and my hypotenuse has to be across. So my legs are going to be 10 and 7.5. So I have 7.5 squared plus 10 squared, this is being really finicky, equals x squared. So 7.5 squared is going to give you 56.25 and 10 squared is going to give you 100 and that's still going to be equal to x squared. So if I add those together I'm going to get 156.25 equals x squared. Now remember, you're not done yet. You still have x squared, and we want to find out what just x is. So the opposite of squaring something is taking the square root of it. So I must take the square root of both sides so that I can get x by itself. So if I have x equals, and the square root of 165 is 12.5. So the length of my hypotenuse here equals 12.5 centimeters. But I'm not done yet because this only gives me the piece that was in red and I also have this other part of the triangle. And since these two triangles here have to be the congruent triangles, I know that this side is equal to this side. So I'm going to take my 12.5 Take my 12.5 and I'm going to multiply it by 2, which equals 25 centimeters. So the length of my wire, the length of the wire is 25.